I say. Like, but it's a lot of like just words in. it's just a lot of clashing. Yeah, yeah. Especially when I'm growing up to be a man and that you see what I'm saying to you, and then just certain things that I just know for a fact. Mm. This ain't the, yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be the pattern kind of thing, and mm. so just wrestling with that. And I think that me and my mom came to a place of equilibrium before she passed away. Like she started to see the man that I was in it, you know, or I am per se. You know what I mean? Like she saw a difference in me. Kind yeah. of thing. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. And you could tell like our relationship mm. was going that way. So obviously it's one of them ones where when she felt ill and she got diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in April 2018, these times I'm making haircut to film that mm. bust my career. Yeah. So I'm just making it. And then she gets diagnosed in April. I'm like, what's that? And obviously I'm going with her to the appointments and I'm hearing it when she's hearing it. You know, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, like this is this is messed. Like I've never dealt with grief in, in my entire life. And this is now so obviously what I, I was in the word and obviously you've got to meet you at your point of expectation all of mm. that. So I, I didn't know honestly I was I didn't think she was going nowhere. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. her being ill wasn't easy to watch, but I was just thinking, I don't know how God's gonna pull this one off. Yeah, yeah, you just know that he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna come me. come out of the end. He's gonna, like, he's gonna I know do something's it for me. gonna I don't know how he's gonna do this. And then obviously it was one of them ones where fast forward, she died in like three months, bro. She was fully fit and healthy and three months later. She was skin and bone and dead, you know what I'm saying to you? And, it, and it's one of them ones where, for me, like, I'll be real with you, there was, I definitely spoke to God, like, I, 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 I went to, when she was in hospital, because she was at home for the majority of the time, then she got really bad, then the ambulance took her to hospital, then um, I remember just the doctors, like, oh, she's got three days, four days, she was, she was there for about like a week, so when mm. it passed the three days, I was looking at the doctors, like, yeah, well, when, I was, like, when I was showing you, yeah, yeah, you didn't want to listen, yeah. watch, kind yeah, of thing, yeah. so obviously, when she died, I felt like I had a bit of an egg on my face, you know what I'm saying to you? Like, I had, mm. I felt a bit stupid, you know what I mean? And I kind of, like, spoke to God. I was like, yo, like, you really told me you meet my, my point of expectation, and now here we are, innit? Do you know what I'm mm. saying? So I'm a little bit confused, so... That, that's that's wanna, what... Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I spoke to him direct, and I was like, you're going to need to clarify this, because if I'm flagging your, the flag like this... Yeah, I need to bro. Understand, that's that's I mean, that's bro. why I, I mean, you yours even better than me, because even with me, I remember, like, that morning when I got the news, I just went on my knees, I said, God... Bro, I Let beg you. Not, not even that. I was like, listen, <coughs> if you, if you, if you come, if you make put, make her pull, to pull through, mm. trust me. Mm. Sunday, I'm ch- you're gonna see me. Mm. Every day, I want me on my knees praying. Mm. I'm like, just, just like, just pull her through. Cause I, mm. I, I even felt like, you know what? This, if she comes through this, cause she was actually sick, a mm. um, couple months before that again, but she pulled through that, and that was we was almost close to losing her then. So I thought, okay, cool. We've come close once, so mm. surely. He can he can do it again in it. So I was like, if you if you pull it through, that's gonna be the biggest test to me. And even when she pulled through the first time, I was like, yeah, mm. mom, see, I knew you could do it, man. So so the second time, I wasn't really mm. worried, like, and I was mm. like, and then when we got the news, oh, she's gone. I was like, I was like, I was like bro, like, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. we just we just spoke like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 what happened there, man? Well, we had a handshake. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I thought we agreed to this, yeah, like, yeah, but yeah. so it's kind of like, but obviously, like, looking back now, it's it's um. That's not how it works, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Even though, like, because even you, you said, like, even when you're just on your face, like, you're yeah. having to, like, start from scratch, yeah. like, your car's getting told, no bread. Yeah. That's when, because it's, it's all good having faith when things are rosy. Yeah, you know, you're sitting cool. Yeah, listen, my, my film's bus. It's got, my, my film's on X and million views, yeah. but when nothing, no, nothing shows, he's like, bro, but nothing, nothing's happening. That's facts. Then, then uh, you got to keep the But I guess for me, like, I guess, look, the reason why me and God are, are the way we are is because, look, I've, I got to my place of happiness and peace and all that. Mm. I didn't have a penny to my name. Like, mm. I mean, like I was literally just thinking, right, like, like, you know, I've done all sorts of stuff for bread in my time. You know what I'm saying to you? But at this point, I don't have a penny. I've decided mm. there's certain things I'm not doing anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've already made that decision, but I'm still wrestling with myself. Mm. But I think that, you know, at this point, I found peace and happiness and it wasn't about money. It wasn't about a mm. career. Like, it wasn't about, like, friends and, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just yeah. that, bruv, I've got God and I'm starting to, the first thing I, in the word that released me from my previous, you know, being was the, f- the finding out that guilt is the worst thing to God. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Like, mm. he doesn't want guilt. Do you see what I'm saying to you? He died on the cross. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. So yeah. being feeling guilt is almost like a kick in the teeth to God. And I'm like, mm. wow, it's actually guilt that was keeping me in this depressive state. You know what I mean? Like, guilt was what was, ki- was keeping me in that place of anger problems and in that place of depression and mm. in that place of seeking validation mm. from people and it was do you know what I'm saying to mm. you it was it was guilt like it was, and and when I read in the daily devotion that I had along with my bible that oh you know guilt is, is the f- bro, I, like I started working on getting rid of that guilt and I felt free but like, it, like like I got released from jail like do you know what I'm saying to you mm-hmm. like guilt was almost like a prison you know what I'm saying to you and I got released from jail so it's like moving forward from that I didn't feel guilty no more when yeah 
anybody was saying anything about me, including my mum. Like, it was just like, bruv, say whatever you like, like, do whatever you want, perceive what you want. But mm. I've read the word now and I know what it is and I finished it, right? So mm. obviously, fast forward now, when mum passed away and I spoke to God and I'm like, yo, like, what is this big man? Like, you're going to have to kind of like clarify this for me. Yeah, yeah, then yeah, two yeah. things happen. I promise you, this stuff is goosebumps. But like, this is why I believe it. Like, bruv, me and God today, it's just like airtight because of just the way he's mm. presented certain things. Like, yeah. I can't say I don't. Like, he's not God in it. Like, so two things happen. The first thing is, there's an actress called Tamara Lawrence. So she's, so by this point, mum passes away now. Yeah. And she's ill when I signed with my agent, right? She's ill when, when you know, all sorts of good stuff's happening. So yeah. I'm not even aware she's conscious of it. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, it's kind of, she's never seen me like this. Like, mum's yeah, never yeah. seen me as a, you know, a, a working professional mm-hmm. in the film industry, you know what I mean? And, and as it was happening, she was on the way out. But it's one of them ones where it's like, I met this actress, Tamara Lawrence, at something called Screen International, Stars of Tomorrow. Yeah. It's a big deal, like John Boyega, Michaela Cole, mm. Benedict Cumberbatch. Is, is it that the, the um, you mean the E.E. Rise and stuff? No, not even. It's, 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 it's something similar, but yeah. it's, it's, it's a magazine called Screen Daily, and then oh, like, okay. you know, they choose yeah. you like the next best talent, like yeah, and yeah. Al- actors and, and, and filmmakers. Mm. So I got on the list, Right. Yeah. And another actress on that list, Tamara Lawrence, we were waiting to take our pictures for the press thing. Yeah. This is, a, what, three, four days after mum's dead. And then and then was chilling in the park now, waiting, because it was a hot day, whatever. Mm. We are just talking, and, 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 like, Tamara goes to me, like, you know, we're just chatting, and, you know, it's not like, you know, she's, like, holier than thou. She's just, you know, she's yeah. just Tamara, you know mm. what I mean? She's a great person, you know what I mean? And she just sort of, like, believes what she, she believes. But yeah. she, she had a word for me to share with me, and I remember exact. I forgot the Bible quote, so... You know, I'm sure if anyone's listened to this, they can go and find it. But it's in Corinthians. And she just said, I don't know if this is going to help you, but, you know, last time I had, you know, my grandma told me, I think it was my grandma told her this Bible quote, and it was like, um, in order to stop me from becoming conceited, I was sent a, 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 a thorn in my flesh, a messenger from Satan to torment me. Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me, and his response was, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. Right, that's what mm. God said. Like, even though you're saying, like, I pleaded with Him to yeah. take this thing away from mm. me, and He says, My grace is sufficient right now because my power is made perfect in your weakness. I'm gonna rewind a little bit. So, mom told my little sister something before she passed while she was ill. She like choked through her words to yeah. say what she was saying that she had a dream mm. that um, uh, uh, someone gave her something to fix, and she fixed it. And then she went in to go give it, that thing back to the person, and the person was like, Nah, they don't want it, they don't want it. And she was like, Bruv, like. You gotta take this thing because yeah. if you don't take it, it's gonna x me. Like I can't keep this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna affect me. And they're like, no, 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 I don't want it. And then anyway, the first thing I got from that Bible quote tomorrow gave me was the correlation between the dream and the word. It's kind of mm. like three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. Yeah. yeah. And then His response was, "My grace is sufficient for you." Basically saying, "You can handle, you can handle for this." My, uh, yeah, yeah. For my power, look, and take deep, taking the second one because it's key. Yeah. For my power is made perfect in your weakness. So God's already clarified the, the the fact that Mom's dream was the prerequisite to this answer that He was yeah, giving. Yeah. So my grace is sufficient for you. Cool. Okay, I get that. I told my sisters. Yeah. You know, and we were like getting whatever comfort we get from it or mm. whatever. Next thing that happened, now I was talking to a guy called. Um, I'm not going to say his name, actually, because it's, this one's quite techie. But I was working with him on a project. It was like a... Uh, if you say I, I bleep it still, but school. Yes, calm, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, no, worry, no, no, no. Still, I was like, hey, listen, come and drop it. <laughs> but no, I was working with these guys and was doing like this little corporate, do you know what I mean? It's between when I did haircut and awesome crosses. Yeah. So like that summertime. And I was shadowing on Top Boy as well. So mm. it was like a good time for me, you know. Yeah, it was yeah. weird because I wasn't enjoying it. Like, mom's dead in it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so you it's just not... Yeah. Everything yeah. I've ever been waiting for was happening at the same time. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it was such a weird time for me. But anyway, I was in a meeting with this guy and he was like the sort of like exec of this project. You know, he's the one that brought the project forward and we yeah. had our meeting and we finished. And then he was telling me, I don't know. I'm just going to say this and you can decide how you're going to edit this because this is quite techy. I'll be honest with you. But, but, but I'm listen, I'm not going to put you in any compromise position. So yeah, anything yeah, you say... So just bleep it. But, anyway, we'll, yeah. we'll, but let me clap so I know where to edit. If you're, yeah, you're going to talk to that man, let me clap so I know where to edit from. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so yeah. Do, do your thing, man. So no, it's, 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 it's you're saying that he was... Fra- in my head, it's almost like after praying to God is that the second part, his response came to me and it was kind of like, wait, mom passed away, yeah. 
And look at my life. Let's start there. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm. She like she in what I finished making a haircut when I was broke and I didn't know what I was doing to, and you know just making the film. Finished making that in May. By November, I'm in Cape Town shooting a BBC One drama. Mm. It's like it's like every. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like perfect it wasn't time, just me. It wasn't just me. It's like everyone that Mum knows and loves. After she passes away, he's like he's just getting success stories left by seven. Yeah. There's someone who's trying for a child's pregnant now. There's this 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 refugee she's looking after. He's he's trying to get his stay in the country. He keeps getting rejected. The one she filled that for him, he gets his papers. And all of this stuff's just happening after mm. she dies, isn't it? You know what I'm yeah. saying to him? I'm just thinking to myself, like, bro, like, because I was deep in it, but I was like, just a coincidence. Then yeah, I go back to the word. Do you know, but you know what? Do you know what that word says? It says, My grace is sufficient for you. Yeah, she's talking to my mum. I know you're in a dire position right now. The devil's tormenting you, but my grace right now is enough. Mm. Right? Why? For my power is made perfect in your weakness. Mm. So it's like, is it like. Basically, for m- mum, is, she, she had to go through what she had to go through, basically. It's just as simple as that. God has allowed it to happen for a reason, innit? You see what I'm saying to you? And, if you and, and the more and more I grow and the more and more I'm going, I know that, I, for example, I can't quote exactly. I was reading the Bible the other day. I'm in Exodus right now again because I'm sort of on my second pass through. And uh, after Moses got the Ten Commandments from God, there was a few things that God was talking to Moses about and there's one thing that stuck with me and it's kind of like oh, about the Israelites and stuff mm. and it's like when they're sort of like in transit and for the rest of generations to come when they're like an Israelite dies it's almost like they go ahead in time yeah do you see what I'm saying mm. to you and, and, and you start patterning certain things yeah. almost like angels like guarding angels kind mm. of thing like I need to clarify because I read it once so I need to go back and clarify it but it's kind of like I feel like it's a bit of that like it's almost yeah. like my mum left this world kind of thing because the world weren't for her she had a big heart like massive heart mm. no one could reciprocate you know what I mean and honestly we could say she died of cancer but mum was just do you know what I mean she was just not she was just too stressed for too long do you know what I'm saying to mm. like that's what took her I'll be honest with you like we can just call it cancer if we want but cancer to this day nobody knows what it is you see what I'm saying to you it's just a manifestation of stuff that takes your life like it's stress you know what I'm saying to you stress mm. kills anyway mm. so my thing was that I just started to get a peace in my heart knowing that this was a godly plan, even though the devil tried to, the devil thinks he can win sometimes and stuff like this, but it's a godly plan because it's kind of like, bruv, so mum's assumed this position now that's not even on earth as a position of power. And she's, bro, can I be honest with you guys, yeah? Like, I'm being honest with you right now. Bruv, everything free I the touched, realness, man. Everything I touch right now is turning to gold, bruv. Swear down, bruv. I've started mm. a production company in lockdown and I've already got an investment from Sky to executive produce Jeez. five short films. Oh, we've got to do that out? Or we got, yeah, no, you don't. Okay, yeah, that keep that cool. Yeah, that's coming yeah, out yeah, of okay, the cool. soon anyway. That's 125 that's grand, six figures Jeez. for the company I just started. Yeah. Mm. Like, like, you know, like, that, man. Give man the flowers, man. Come on, bro. Like, I've worked on a BBC One drama. Like, I'm working on a Netflix show right now. I'm sure everybody knows which one that is, but I just can't say it because of an NDA, but everybody watches it, you know? I think I know, but maybe yeah. off. off yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell off. you after. But yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, 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 I would say one of the biggest, you know, shows from our culture in this country. Do you know what mm. I'm saying to you? Mm. And it's like I've just directed two episodes. Well, I'm directing two episodes now. I'm going to Cape Town next month to go and you know do Noots and Crosses again. Yeah. So I'm saying to you, I'm doing my feature film at the end of this year. With film four. Do you know what mm. I mean? It's kind of like everything that I ever wanted is happening times twenty. Mm. Get me? And and I'm looking at my older sister. She's got two kids now healthy you see what i'm saying to her. my little sister she 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 just got she got just got a new job high paying she's at home she's got a business she's, like, she's calm packed and she looks after herself it's just like two for me mom mom god writes your time like you're gonna die at some stage and he knows when that is and you know mm-hmm. what the, the 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 lesson i learned in this whole thing and i think going back to the question you asked is like yo like how do you you know do you keep the faith when you're grieving bruv God just shows me that he comes you above even your mum, bruv. It's that real. Like, anything that comes above God will crush you. Anything that comes above God will crush you. If that's your career, if that's your wife, if that's your kids, if that's your mum, if that's bro, money. That's, that's some real, real Anything life. that comes above God will crush you, innit? And you know what? God took me through that time where it's kind of like, okay, you found me now. You see what I'm saying to you? I'm taking my daughter back because she's mine, not yours. You know, fair, fair enough, she's your mum. This is my daughter. Mm. I'm, I'm, mm. She's going to assume a position I think is best for her. And you will reap the benefits from that, or that's some real you, life you can, stuff. You can, you can choose to you can choose to ignore it if you want, and if you ignore it, you're just gonna suffer. In this life, you're either gonna be a, abundant or you're gonna suffer. There's no middle ground. 
is either you accept God or you don't. There's no middle ground. Like, dude, there's no fence sitting. You know what I'm saying? So with me now, I'll be honest with you. Mum passing away, bruv, has even solidified my faith times 50, bruv. Mm. Honestly, the whole spiritual narrative of it all. Like, he's just like, bruv, you can't make this thing, these things up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, mm, yeah. you just can't. So, anyway, that's the long-winded answer no, of, bro, it's of, not of the how bro, I keep the faith. I don't keep the faith. It's what my f- the faith is the is the air that I breathe, bruv. Without that, I'm dead. So, you see what I'm saying? Like, I mm. always advise people, bruv, just don't play with God, fam. Like, that's that. What you said, that literally, that anything above God, like, because it's you. so mad. Yeah, because yeah, I'm not gonna cool. lie, sometimes, yeah, it's kind of um. Well, let me not bring everyone. Let me just speak for myself, mm. innit? So, like, do you know what I mean, like, sometimes it's. I feel like I, I see myself at times like, I also neglecting faith, faith. I'm, I'm always going to have faith, you know what I mean? I'm not getting faith, but just sometimes pr- maybe putting too much effort in certain things, but realizing actually, you know what? Did God is bigger than what you were stressing about now. So you, you're thinking, oh, you know what? I need to do this, I need to do that. But trust me, like God knows the pattern. And mm-hmm. with yours, I, I can't I can't even, like your, your testimony is mad because even just like, again, if I'm even b- before we spoke, and mm-hmm. again, I, I always say, I've always seen you like mm-hmm. post about mum. Mm-hmm. Like now, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. It makes sense because, like, at times, often when you have faith, it doesn't mean you don't, you know, you don't, you don't miss her. Or, like, of course. But you. Bro, I'm burning, bro. Let's be honest. I don't want to let anyone be under any illusions, bro. I am burning. Like, my cousin sent me a picture of my mum when, of her, when we were all young and that like, mum was there, bro. It's not easy. I was my birthday the other day. Like, do you know what I'm saying mm. to you? It's not easy, bro. Like, I'm not going to even paint that picture. But the word says, the peace of the Lord surpasses all understanding. That's what the word says. Mm. It says that, like, bro, you can be peaceful and be burning at the same time. Like, that's what people don't get. Do you understand? Like, yeah. you can be burning about this, but actually there's a peace in your heart that you can't attain outside of God. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's that's what it is. Because again, like, even again, when people, you know, when you people hear you reference God or... It just seems, oh, he's he's good, he's, but but it doesn't like having faith doesn't doesn't mean you know like um, hardship is going to be absent. You're still that's, you're still going you're still going to go through challenges. That's you know what I mean. You're still going to have like that's and why that's, you need faith. Like that, the the reason why you need faith is because this world's effed. Do you know what Let's I mean? Start there. Like you see what I'm saying. Challenges are a, by default. Like this, if you live life thinking, oh yeah, you know, if I pray, then there'll be no challenges. You're sadly mistaken. You see what I'm mm. saying to you, like, mm. like the world is challenges. That yeah, your flesh, as long as you're in this flesh, this flesh here is sin. Do you see what right, I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. and I think even like when I was, even though like we were making joke earlier, but I was like saying to God, like, bro, like, why didn't you like mm. come through for me? Like, but I think mm. in that moment, I think there was a lot of I was premature in my faith mm. in the sense where mm-hmm. I thought, okay, listen, if you just pray, I have believe, cool, it's gonna, it's gonna. But it's sometimes, gonna happen, yeah. and that, and that's the hard, that's what I'm saying, that's the hard part because it's, it's easy mm. when things are going smooth. Right? You know when it, when they always say like. Um, pray if in good times pray, bad yeah. times pray. pray. But the matter time, 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 time things are pan, I'm like I'm I'm like yeah, God thank you man, really bust me in this one. Everything's going well. Mm. Bad times now, I'm just like rah like what's what's going what's on? Going on? What, what happened yeah. to that? Like you know what I'm saying? What happened sure. to the blessings? But that's not that's what it's that's sure. that's what it is. Like you can't like life is is hard. Yeah, mm. even even just like again us praying be man of it. It doesn't mean that's what people don't understand. It doesn't mean there's not going to be hardship. It doesn't mean that. Oh, because you know you're always referencing God, it means that you you're not you're not gonna have hard. Of course you are, like mm. do you know what I mean. But like that's why people need to always like that's why I feel like when someone's always like you know happy or like, I'm doing this, they always think oh yeah, so I'm waiting for them to slip up. But mm. no, like you can't think like that because they're happy, but it doesn't mean they're not going through hardship. It's that's just that they they choose they choose to like to focus on on that part that's rather than focusing. Oh, you know what? I'm sad all the time because I I'm, even I've done it. I'm always like oh like God like like I think even this lockdown I'm I've. I've always been thinking like, oh, just negative things. Like, why? Why is it that you've done this? But then, I don't. I don't give myself enough like praise or mm. or or like credit. I'm always waiting. Okay, I'll wait for for someone else to do it until they tell me. I can't tell myself I'm doing well because that's not what you do. You're not supposed to be. But it's like sometimes you have to. Do 